In this video, we can discuss about the replication or reproduction or multiplication of viruses. This is also known as virus host interaction. Genetic information for viral replication is contained in the viral nucleic acid, but they lack the biosynthetic enzyme. So the virus will depend on the machinery of host cell for their replication. There are two life cycle for virus or bacteriophage for their replication that is lytic or virulent cycle, temperate or avirulent cycle. First one is lytic or virulent cycle. In this host cell will burst or get lysed at the end of phage division and thereby it will release new progeny phage into infect other host cell. But in case of temperate or avirulent cycle, they do not destroy the host cell. The viral nucleic acid is integrated with the host cell genome and replicated from one generation to another generation without any cell lysis. And this is known as lysogeny. And lysogeny is usually carried out by bacteriophage or viruses with double standard DNA. Most of the gene product of lysogenic phage remain dormant until it is induced to enter lytic cycle. Now we can discuss lytic cycle in detail. In this host cell will burst or get lysed at the end of phage division and thereby it will release the new progeny phage into infect other host cell as we mentioned before. And lytic stage consists of different stages like adsorption or attachment, second one is penetration, uncoating, then multiplication or biosynthesis, assembly and release. We can discuss each step in detail. First one is adsorption or attachment. This is the stage in which the virus will come in contact with the cell by random collision. But during the random collision, all the viruses will not attach with the host cell. Adsorption will take place only if there is an affinity between the virus and bacteria or the cell. The tip of virus or phage tail become adsorbed on the bacterial cell surface at specific receptor sites and they have some molecular configuration that are complementary to each other. At initial stage only tile fibers are attached this stage is reversible. The tile pin get attached, the adsorption become reversible. So this is the step of adsorption. It will produce a random collision with the bacteria or cell. And first stage is, uh, will be reversible if the tile fibers is get attached. Once the tile pins get attached, that will be reversible. Now coming to the second stage, that is the penetration. In this virus phage inject its DNA into the bacterial cell. The capsid remain on the outer surface of the cell. The DNA passes through the tube to bacterial cytoplasm. The phage sheet contract forcing the tail core tube to transfer genetic material to the bacterial cell. In case of non-enveloped viruses, the penetration is by engulfment by invagination of plasma membrane with accumulation of virus cytoplasmic vesicles which is known as phagosome. But in case of enveloped viruses, they will fuse with the plasma membrane of host cell releasing nucleocapsid into the cytoplasm. So this is the uh, tile contraction and thereby the penetration of DNA and thereby DNA injection into the host cell. Third step is uncoating. It is the physical separation of nucleic acid from its outer structural components and capsid so that the nucleic acid is released into the cell. Host component and proteolytic enzyme within the lysosome will help for the coating. Now coming to the fourth stage that is the multiplication or biosynthesis. It is the conversion of host cell to phage producing cell. So once the bacteriophage enter into the host cell. It will stop the replication and transcription of bacterial DNA and RNA. 
then virus phage mrna code for the nuclease degrade the host cell dna into small fragments this make the nucleotide of host dna available for the phage dna synthesis then the transcription of phage mrna is initiated by host cell rna polymerase then this lead to virus gene get expressed and it will direct the biosynthetic machinery of the host cell to shut down the normal cellular metabolism and to start production of biosynthesis of viral component like head and tail the synthesis of viral component inside the host cell can be divided into two early function and late function in early function the phage will take over the host cell and the synthesis of early viral mrna will started and the synthesis of early proteins and enzyme like nuclease dna dependent rna polymerase will start and in late function here the synthesis of structural and enzymatic protein will start then assembly of nucleic acid will start and late proteins like phage head tile tile fibers and endolysin will be produced in this stage next stage of lytic cycle is assembly in this the virus pieces are assembled to produce complete viral particles or virions two kind of proteins are required for the phage assembly structural proteins of phage particles and enzyme that will catalyze the assembly process these enzyme do not become part of bacteriophage during their release now assembly of icosahedral phage take place in several step first the aggregation of phage structural protein to form head and tail will occur then the condensation of nucleic acid and entry into the preformed head will occur after that the attachment of tail to packed about 25 minutes after infection about 50 to 100 phage particle will be assembled now coming to the last stage that is the release this is the final event host cell get burst and all of the new virion will escape from the bacterial cell an enzyme called endolysin is produced towards the end of lytic cycle will help for the lysis of bacterial cell and release the mature phages when bacterial cell are infected with filamentous phages the release is by means of extrusion without damaging the bacterial cell it is also known as reverse phagocytosis in this case as the viral dna extrude through the membrane it pick up the protein molecules so that is all about the stages of lytic cycle it is an animation showing lytic cycle in first stage virus will attach with the bacteria then virus will penetrate their genetic material into the bacteria then viral dna will get multiplied and it will take over the function of bacteria and the viral dna will use the bacterial machinery to produce the viral protein parts and structures then it will get assembled and by using endolysin enzyme virus get lysed and the new matured viruses will be released this is a simple diagram which will show different steps of Uh, lytic cycle in first one there is an attachment then penetration then uh, take over of bacterial cell and the synthesis of nucleic acid and protein which are required for the virus and then assembly and packaging and finally by lysing the bacterial cell it will release the new viruses now coming to the lysogenic life cycle or temperate phages phages with double stranded dna usually will not destroy the bacterial cell in this viral nucleic acid is integrated with the host cell genome and replicated from one generation to another without any cell lysis example is association of lambda phage with e coli most of the gene products of lysogenic phage remain dormant until it is induced to enter lytic cycle so these are the different steps of lysogenic cycle entry of phage genome into the cell synthesis of early protein 
integration of viral DNA and attainment of lysogeny. Coming to the first one, entry of phage genome into the cell. The entry of virus into the bacterial cytoplasm is by means of same mechanism as that of lytic cycle. That means there will be a random collision in which fibers will get attached. When the pings get attached, the uh, attachment is irreversible. Then there will be a tail contraction and penetration of viral DNA or RNA into the cell. Then viral DNA injection into the bacterial cell. Second one is synthesis of early proteins. The host cell synthesis repressor protein coded for the phage DNA. This protein will inhibit the synthesis of specific mRNA which is responsible for the endolysin which is the main enzyme reason for the lysis of bacterial cell so that the uh, endolysin production will be inhibited due to a protein known as repressor protein. If sufficient repressor protein is present the lytic cycle will not take place. Now coming to third stage integration of viral DNA. In this phage DNA will join with bacterial DNA and it is inserted by phage code DNA insertion enzyme. The viral genome joined with the bacteria DNA is called as prophage. Lambda phage chromosome is inserted between the galactose and biotin gene for E. coli. The phage DNA get attached as a circle initially which further break and rejoin with host DNA. This is a picture representing lysogenic cycle. Usually a circle DNA will be there and then it will join with the uh, bacterial DNA and it will replicate and until the activation of lytic cycle it will remain in the lysogenic cycle. Fourth stage is attainment of lysogeny. The bacterial host cell remain alive. It continue to grow and multiply along with the phage DNA associated with it. The phage gene replicate as the part of bacterial chromosome. Continued production of repressor gene will help to continue the lysogenic cycle. If by means of UV radiation, the repressor gene is inactivated and then the cell will enter to the lytic cycle. This is the difference between lytic and lysogenic cycle. In lysogenic cycle, as the viral genetic material enter into the bacterial cell, it will integrate with the bacterial cell and the bacteria will divide with the viral DNA until it enter to the lytic cycle. But in case of lytic cycle, as the viral DNA enter into the bacteria, it will take over the, all the function of bacterial cell and it will start production of different viral parts by using bacterial materials and finally virus will uh, lyse the bacterial cell and it will release the matured assembled bacteria to infect new cells. This is the difference which we will show in uh, lytic and lysogenic cycle. In lytic cycle it will release by lysing the bacterial cell but in case of lysogenic cycle it will integrate with the uh, bacterial DNA and it will multiply. This is another form of an lysogeny not integrative lysogeny. In this integration of phage DNA does not take place the bacterial DNA and the DNA which are not integrated with the bacterial DNA is known as plasmid. The plasmid act as an independently replicating circular DNA molecules. Phage P1 follow this form of replication with E. coli. So this is the plasmid which are seen in the bacterial cell due to some non-integrative lysogeny. So that is all about the replication reproduction or multiplication of virus or virus host interaction. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.